Oh shit. What have I done? What? Is something gonna fall? <laughs> Probably. My name is Brian and welcome to Wrench Fest Garage. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be working on the old Ford here. This is a 2000 Ford F250 with the 7.3 Power Stroke. And what we're gonna be doing today is swapping out the fuel filters in the fuel tank. So let's get after it. So this truck has about 180,000 miles on it, and I don't know if these filters in this tank have ever been changed. I kind of assume they haven't. So I wanna drop this tank and see what they look like. Um, I'll show you the part numbers. There's actually two of the little filter and one of the big filter. I don't know if it's called a filter, but it sits on the bottom. Anyway, I'll show you what we got going on when we get it down. First thing I'm gonna do is pull this skid plate off, and then we'll go to uh, pulling off some of these hoses dropping it down a little bit and trying to get the hoses up on top. We got the skid plate out of the way, and now we can go to pulling these hoses. These are the filler neck hoses. We'll get them off and out of the way, and then we can start working on these brackets here to hold the tank up. I'm pretty sure these hoses have been on here for 24 years. That one's gonna come off. So what I'm doing here is using a pick to get between the holes and the metal part to kind of break the, the hose free. They've probably been on there for like 24 years and it's a bit of a fight. These hoses usually get pretty stiff, old and brittle. So let's just stick a big pick in there. Let me show you what I'm using. It's actually a little sharp. I usually like the end a little blunt because if you're not careful, you can poke that tip right through your hose and then have a leak and that sucks. That's one way to do it. This is the way I usually do it. I'm not sure, but I think this jack could use some more fluid. We got the hoses undone, and now we're undoing the straps that hold the tank on. This jack's a little questionable. I'm hoping it holds it up good enough. So we got the fuel tank dropped down just a little bit. Um, it's kind of tugging on all the lines. So I'm trying to get all the lines undone. There's two fuel lines, an electrical and a breather. And of course we already got the fillers unhooked. So that's where we're at right now. Um, just trying to sneak up there and get stuff unhooked. The first part's undone. <laughs> Ford puts these uh, safety things on these so they don't come undone. Very easy. On these Fords, you're gonna need this tool right here. It goes in and it helps you release the fuel lines. You just push it in on the fuel line. You just gotta push the fuel line kind of into it a little bit and then it should come off, but a lot of times it's a fight. Okay, got that one. Yeehaw, that was brutal. Can you come hold this tank just so it doesn't slide that way? See if I can get in there and get that other line off. Yeah. I think I got everything. Them hoses are gonna hang us up a little bit though. Oh yeah. Now look at all that room. 
heavier than I thought it would be. All right. These are the two fuel lines that we had to unhook from the top, and this is the tool. So it basically slides over to that, and you gotta push it in there, and then there's some little tiny clips that hold onto this. Push that in, and then that fuel line will come off, and like I said, it's usually a fight. You gotta wiggle it, push it in, try to get that in further, and then, yeah, and then it comes out. This is the electrical. That's just pretty straightforward, just electrical connection. These are the two filler hoses, and this is the breather, which is in horrible shape. This part's pretty straightforward to get the sanding unit and the filters out of the tank. Find the most blunt object you can. This one's a chisel, it's kind of maybe too sharp, but this just spins off, so we're gonna give this a go. Hopefully, that's destroying the tank. Yeah, okay. A bit of a fight. That's what we're after. Tank still had quite a bit of fuel in it, even though it said it had a quarter of a tank left. It's good to know. That's the foot. That's what sits on the bottom of your tank, and that actually Looks pretty good. There's not really any crud in there. Probably could have reused that, but I would sure hate to pull this tank out and then figure out that I needed that. So I guess people have problems with these falling off in their tanks and you lose that much of your fuel um, and then your fuel tank starts to run out at like quarter of a tank or whatever. So it's a good idea to change this while you're in here. I got the parts from Riff Raff Diesel and I believe all together it was a hundred bucks for the two filters and for that um, bottom filter, whatever they call it, foot, whatever you want to call it. This is where your two filters sit, your other two filters. So we're just going to pop this off the bottom here, hopefully without destroying it. There's the other one. That's very slickery. These are the filters that came out of it. And honestly, they don't look that bad. There's a little bit of crud in there. But if these filters had 180,000 miles on it, which they may have, I don't know, that they probably could have went an easy more 180,000 miles before they needed to be replaced. But didn't know, just dove in and did it anyway. We'll throw these in and go from there. There is other options. You can completely bypass this setup. There's sumps you can put on the bottom of your tank, which I, I like them and there's things I don't like about them. The things I do like about them is they're easy um, to do. You don't have to drop the tank. You just gotta drain the tank basically, drill a hole up in there and put those sumps in the bottom. And it makes dang sure you get all the fuel out of your tank. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff because it drains it right out of the bottom of the tank or pulls it out of the bottom of the tank. The two things I don't like about it is it's prone to leaking. Um, and when, with my luck, it would for sure leak. And the other thing I like about it is you got a fuel line you got to run right underneath the bottom of your tank up to your fuel line and it's going to be a little bit prone to get stuff hooked on. It's, neither one of those things are a bad idea, but I just figured this was the factory setup. Um, it's worked for this long. If I had a problem with bad fuel and I was having to replace these often, then I would probably definitely go with a sump. But if you can replace these every 100,000 or 180, then it's not that big of a deal. It all depends on how clean the fuel is that you're getting. So evidently, I've, this fuel's been pretty decent that I've been running through this truck because these filters aren't that bad. So yeah, we'll just keep pressing forward. New filter, old filter. We got this back together. We got the new foot on it. We got the new filters in here. Um, we're gonna set this back in here. There's two notches on this right here. One, two that go right there, right there. Lines everything up. Slide it in. Try not to mess up your float. That pushes pretty hard against the bottom there. Goes just like that. Get the ring on. The 
breather hose was pretty brittle, pretty old. It just basically kind of fell apart as we was coming out. So I'm gonna cut it all off and we're gonna go grab some hose and fix it right while we're in here. We went to the parts store and grabbed some fuel hose. It's not exactly what was on it before, but it'll be fine. It's just breather hose. But this stuff that came off of it was just basically falling apart. It was so old and brittle. So we're gonna put this new stuff on and throw the tank back in. Yeah, the thwack. This is a lot heavier. <laughs> Going up. I think and down. the fuel must have sloshed on your end. <laughs> was it real light on your side? <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, but it was it wasn't horribly bad. Are you pushing it towards me? Cause well, it keeps changing. <laughs> Can you hold that hose up inside the frame? Yeah, it's not moving for a sec. Oh, clamp fell off. That's all right. We'll get it. Got her done. It went back together a whole lot easier and it came apart. It seems like that's always the way it goes. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Nah, this sucks. Frickin' Fords.